Hi friends, so I hope most of you are doing well amid uh, COVID-19 and uh, while I watched recent uh, events uh, that's happening uh, across different uh, countries and cities as a whole, so right now my hometown Coimbatore, uh, which is based out of uh, uh, southern part of India in Tamil Nadu, uh, we are seeing close to almost 4,000 new cases that's coming in COVID-19 every day. Uh, while the cases are rising and I, while I take any newspaper or I turn on my television, I actually see a lot of deaths and a lot of negative news, uh, which brings to the point that uh, uh, should we should would we have anticipated uh, such events uh, that would happen uh, in this particular uh, format. So I thought to myself, uh, let's uh, try to understand how these events have uh, played out in the past. So what I was able to come up with this and even uh, with discussion uh, uh, with some of my uh, uh, medical friends so who are actually doctors and some of them are actually uh, researchers uh, in the area of philosophy, I could come up with fate, right? We often underestimate uh, fate uh, to be an important uh, factor in what we do. A person... Uh, becoming good at something or like getting affected by uh, COVID-19 and and not able to uh, function properly. So almost most of these events are outside of our control. Though we might have taken uh, any number of precautions, uh, these things tend to happen to us uh, for the good or for the bad, right? So I realized uh, I could actually go back uh, to some ancient uh, uh, literature as well as in terms of uh, read a few uh, things in history so that it will uh, give me some guiding principles and also small pieces of uh, wisdom uh, that will again uh, help me to uh, navigate this well. So with me what I have is uh, this is again uh, uh, Kirkural uh, like this is again one of the ancient uh, literature uh, that's written in the Tamil language, written by uh, Thiruvalluvar. So what this book talks about is uh, in three parts, wealth, virtue and love. So where Valluvar has uh, written almost close to 1330 couplets. So each couplet is almost two lines. Uh, it's packed with a deeper wisdom and also how a human being should operate with moral conduct. So, when, so the chapter 38, he talks about fate. So one of the line uh, he talks about is that, uh, that that what is stronger than fate, if we think of an expedient to avert it, the fate will itself be with us before the thought. So what he uh, tries to tell through this particular line is that no matter how much hard we try to control fate, fate will again outsmart us every time even before we prepare for it, right? So now if you might have seen seen recent events, so almost uh, uh, due to COVID-19, the old traditional business models, uh, now they have, uh, due to lockdown, they might have not been able to function, which gave rise to new business models that's taking over, like movie theaters getting shut down, and also uh, Amazon Prime, Netflix, Hotstar, and also few other uh, OTT apps gaining huge momentum, uh, which uh, is a complete change in consumer behavior. I could quote n number of events, right? 9-11, uh, Bombay terror attack, Spanish flu, Ebola outbreak. So almost all of these events happened uh, in a manner that which we couldn't have anticipated. Though we know the risk that if such events happen, uh, we might not be prepared. Uh, but no one could exactly tell that this events would happen in this exact predictable format, uh, which again boils down to fate, right? So fate could actually give us uh, uh, prosperity or adversity, and also it can uh, pave the way for uh, whether we being perseverant or whether we being idle, uh, which could completely change the equation. So what I think is a person living up to 100 years of age, uh, Though it depends on his lifestyle and also the kind of food that he has and also like how physically active he is or whether he is having any existing ailments. So almost it has to 
balled out of fate. So though I come from a scientific uh, tenor, so it was very hard for me to uh, convince myself uh, how could fate play an important role. Uh, but I rather uh, over the last few weeks again I developed uh, a strong affinity towards this fate. Like no matter how hard we try, uh, which is required in almost whatever we do, but there is again an element of fate and randomness, uh, which uh, can again uh, control the outcome. Uh, that has to play out. So I would strongly recommend uh, you to read the blog that I've written about fate. Uh, it's actually uh, written in the description of this uh, YouTube video. And feel free to uh, share an incident uh, in terms of how fate had played a major event in your life uh, so that again we could come up with some new ideas. Uh, wait, this is an idea that could be explored in much detail and the more uh, experience or idea that comes in, uh, the more n ideas uh, we get to compile. So I hope uh, you enjoyed uh, watching this video and also uh, I hope you will uh, uh, read the blog, blog that I've written about uh, this particular topic and uh, also feel free to uh, read this book. Uh, so I think I'm not uh, recommending this uh, since again uh, like this is ancient because I personally feel that this book has a lot more to offer. Uh, in terms of uh, wisdom and it has stood the test of time. So I hope uh, it would benefit uh, you as well like it had benefited me and uh, presumably again uh, uh, we will again uh, talk more on these uh, topics uh, in the coming weeks. Thank you so much and feel free to subscribe to this channel and also share it with your friends. Uh, until then stay safe.